So I wanna give you guys my most popular ceramic coating paint correction prep package that has kind of shown itself above all the rest in all of the years that I've been doing ceramic coatings because I think it'll help you guys get into ceramic coatings and kind of break that fear of thinking you have to know everything. Now before I jump into it, just wanna let you know I am hosting a live training on May 11th. It's totally free to you and I'm going to be talking about exactly what I use to scale my detailing business to six figures through ceramic coatings and it's gonna be very business heavy. So we're talking about business training, how to bring in customers online, how to set prices and packages, exactly what it looks like to create recurring revenue through ceramic coating customers and how to set the prices that people actually want to pay. We're talking about how to do all of this without hiring a bunch of employees, without doing paid ads, or without really spending any money for startup costs. So you can register for that live event below. Again, it's on May 11th. I only do this about once, twice a year, so make sure you don't miss it. Now to go ahead and give away the answer to this video, the most popular ceramic coating package I have is what I would call my prep slash coating package. So this is where we actually skip what I would call the middleman, which is the paint correction. In the detailing world, a lot of people kind of have this idea that if you're going to do ceramic coatings, you have to do paint correction. And the reason for that is obvious, right? You want to, of course, correct swirls and scratches before you kind of seal them in with a ceramic coating because you're not really going to be able to get at them until the coating starts to degrade or you pull the coating off. That being said, often we don't admit certain things on social media in the detailing world. And because I deal with customers day to day and actual real life detailing situations day to day, I realized over the years that a lot of things like swirl marks and paint imperfections and a lot of the detailed things that you and I see as detailers are things that you and I are concerned about, but they're not necessarily things that the customer is concerned about. And I've always kind of taken a customer centric approach to my detailing business saying, hey, how do I actually implement what they want rather than what I think they should want and leading with that. So if you wanted to lay it out step by step, it would look like this. I prep the wheels, tires, wheel wells, do a foam cannon, pre-wash, an agitation wash, clay bar, iron decontamination after that, surface prep, and then I put the coating on. Now, some of you guys might be thinking, aren't you kind of shortcutting the customer here or doing something immoral? The reality is this type of package in my world focuses on the durability. So when you're selling a ceramic coating, you have to kind of decide, hey, what's, what's the value proposition for the customer here? The reason why this has become really one of my most popular ceramic coating packages is because a lot of customers who drive daily driver vehicles, you know, Toyota, Honda, Kia, they're not concerned about the paint being perfect. They're concerned about the other side of the ceramic coating coin, which is a long-term durability. And in my experience, if you are trying to focus on one thing over other things, to sell a ceramic coating, the long-term durability is what connects with the customers kind of universally. It doesn't require any detailing information, detailing knowledge, detailing language to explain that. People intuitively understand, oh wow, I'm gonna get really long-lasting protection for a few hundred dollars. Now I know some of you hear me say a few hundred dollars and you're like, ah, why are you trading a few hundred dollars for ceramic coatings? Isn't that supposed to be a thousand dollar, two thousand, three thousand dollar job? And the answer is yes, I do many thousand dollar jobs or two thousand dollar jobs, but the reality is when you pull that price tag below a thousand dollars, even subtly $900, $950, and it includes, once again, that prep and the coating because you're focusing on the durability being the value proposition that they're paying for. That's actually something that's very appealing to people because it's difficult to find ceramic coatings in that price range, particularly with people who are more established in their business. It's a very easy way to get into the market if you're not yet in. Now, in addition to this, I wanna slide in kind of the second most popular package when we're dealing with the type of customer that I'm referring to here, which is the most common customer probably you guys are working with, which is just the daily driver average person. The next most common package that I've seen people really jump on is just a simple one step, but particularly with something like a medium cut or a microfiber cutting pad and a finishing polish. Rather than having to do some deep cutting and then finishing the paint with a finishing polish and creating a two step out of it, a lot of times in the paint correction world, I think it's most helpful for detailers to think of the point of diminishing return with paint correction. What I mean is you and I could go at paint for hours and correct it 100%, but 99% of the people that you're dealing with don't actually care care about that. They don't want that level of correction. They certainly don't want to pay for it. And the reason they don't want to pay for it is because no matter how much you talk to them about how valuable that is, it's not going to click in their head. They're not an independently wealthy, you know, car collector that's trying to get this museum quality out of their paint. And because of that, there's a point of diminishing return when you're trying to sell paint correction, particularly in the beginning stages of your business. And so that medium cut or microfiber cutting disc coupled with a finishing polish ends up being that point of diminishing return that when you go past that, it becomes more and more difficult pretty exponentially to get a customer to understand the new value that you're adding for every, let's say, new dollar that they're paying. Now, the one thing that I really wanna focus on in this video is that other side of the coin that I described being the durability of a ceramic coating, being that primary value focus for the customer. A lot of detailers focus on the glossiness of a ceramic coating and the fact that they're so popular now and everybody's getting them. And we need to connect the ceramic coating that they're getting with something they actually understand. And that's why that long-term durability ends up being kind of the easiest value 
value prop for a customer because they understand intuitively, oh, I have this asset, I wanna make sure that it's protected over a long period of time, I don't wanna you know, detail it and maintain it quite as often as maybe a detailer wants me to. And so the ceramic coating serves as this middleman where I can kind of pay this one price here and get this you know, X amount of years of protection that I'm looking for. So it's much easier to connect things like that and speak the customer's language than it is to try to go down this detailer's rabbit hole of understanding paint correction and why the imperfections matter and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to be hooking up in the YouTube description box below a couple of retail grade coatings that I suggest. And these are really versatile coatings so they can be used on paint, you know, glass, black trim, all that sort of stuff. And they're kind of my go-to retail grade ceramic coatings for when I use that type of thing. So you guys can check that out in the YouTube description box if you're interested. And like I said, there's gonna be a link below to register for that live free training on Zoom that I'm hosting. It's gonna be really heavy business training, all ceramic coating focused. And we're gonna be talking about three particular strategies to scale to six figures in your detailing business. And basically that just means scaling to over $8,000 a month using ceramic coatings. And this is applicable to you whether or not you've started your detailing business or whether you're a total beginner and you've never touched a ceramic coating before ever. So you can register for that as well in the YouTube description box below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard and I'll see you in the next video.